Okay, sir. All right, okay. So how many of us are Ibang Lahi? <laughs> we have uh, Mr. Mohammed Sri Lankan. We have Ms. Amina, Indian. We have Ms. Lamar, Jordanian. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, oh, I will be talking then in English only. Oh. <laughs> as, if you can, <laughs> as if you can talk fluently in Tagalog, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, okay, Miss Amina is both Indian and Sri Lankan. Thank you, dear, for clarifying. I was also confused with yeah, that. Yeah, I was you. thinking of it. Mm -hmm. Who, who's that? Miss Amina. Who's that? Miss Amina. Ah, mm -hmm. She is also okay. from Sri Lanka. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us in this meeting. Uh, I got very good feedback from your teacher, and uh, I know that. Uh, you're able to learn a lot of things in this short period. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm calling this our office management class as a mini MBA. The reason it is what you're going to learn in the MBA in two years time. So almost all the contents actually we have uh, compiled it or uh, uh, we have it included in. it in our <laughs> office management course as well, okay? So that's the interesting thing that we try to make this course a totally practical course, not a theoretical base. I mean, not a purely theoretical, you know, theoretical course. You know, it's practical course that give you a skill that you can, uh, in a very shorter period of three months, you can gain the skill and then apply it in your practical life and be something. Alhamdulillah, that uh, by the grace of God Almighty, that we have very good feedback from this course. I mean, most of our students, those who have taken the office management course, they are already working in a very good position. Some of them, they were able to establish their own business as well, back in their country, as well as uh, here in Kuwait. So guys, I congratulated you that you have taken very good step in your life. Not every one of us, okay? Or not every one of us able to get this idea to utilize the time for something which will make them, which will, ma which will make them to be proud, which will make them to, be, to become something in their life. Well, the time which you have spended it in, in three months time, and if you would have not enrolled here in ICSA, you would have not joined these classes and all, this time will still pass in something else. But you have chosen your time of these three hours on every Friday to be educated with the skill of office management and you utilize this time for educating yourself, that will make you, I mean, the fruit doesn't come immediately, okay, but that will make you something big in your life one day and you will be amazed of yourself. But what you have to do it is to put all these things that you have learned in practical, okay? Many of us, we learn a lot of things in our life. We just, it's just, it's just like we listen from this ear and we take out from this and no implementation, therefore no result, okay? So implementation is more important than even learning itself. In every day, when you get out from your house, until you get back in the evening, back in the house, you're able to learn thousands of things, thousands of things you're able to learn, okay? Among that thousands of things, only two or three, you able to utilize it in your whole day and you're able to do it something else. So, but rest, not. So that's what it is that try to grasp, you're able to grasp, you're able to learn almost everything from the contents of office management, try to grab it and hold it and apply it in your practical life and you will be able to make very big difference. Guys, I will tell you something. We do not know about tomorrow. I really do not know if I will be able to see tomorrow or not. The past yesterday, 
which is gone, I cannot do anything of that. The day which has been passed already, the last month which is passed from my life, or the last year which passed from, I cannot do anything of that time which is passed from my life, except, except that I can learn a lesson from my mistake that I have done in past. Other than that, we cannot do anything of our past. <clears throat> but unfortunately, unfortunately, most of us, most of us spending more time in the past than the present. And the biggest reality, the biggest reality, please take note, write down every one of you who's listening to me, please write down the biggest reality in this world it is, that is today. Today, the one you have it right now, that, that's the biggest reality. What you can do today, what you can do today, you do not know about tomorrow if you will able to have it or will be able to do it and all. What you can do today, that what you will able to get the fruit tomorrow. What you are right now, what you are right now, it is because it is the result of what you able to do it in the past three months. And what was that past three months that you have taken a decision to get enrolled in an office management co course. And that decisions make you able to learn many, many good things in your life, which you're going to apply it, which you'll be utilizing it, which you'll be using it in your practical life, in your office work, in your official life and all, okay? So that is the result because you, three months back, you've taken a step. Likewise, likewise, what you have today with you, it is the result because of that past step that you have taken it one year back or two years back. So what you're going to do today, that's what you're going to harvest it tomorrow. Could be after a month, could be after a year, could be after a few years, but the result will be must. It is impossible, it is impossible that you're going to do something in your life and nothing will happen. It is impossible. Every action, it has reaction. Remember one, every action, the reaction, if action is good, the result will be good. Action is bad, the result will be bad. So keep in mind, every action, it has reaction, okay? So we really need to notice our actions, the things that we are doing it every day. Are we well prepared for our tomorrow? Have we already planned? ourselves, where do I like to see, or where do we like to see ourselves in coming two to three years? Where do you like to see yourself in coming two years? Have we prepared it for it? Were we able to plan it? In these two years time, this is what I am going to do in order to achieve this one, in order to achieve this one. And if you have not planned it is, because you do not, you have not, you, you are not able to set the goal, that's why you're not able to plan it. If you have, but there is a goal in the planning of that goal, you can never, you can never achieve something in your life. You can never achieve in your something in your life if you have not planned that one. And if you have not prepared for that plan. So there are a lot of people I have seen in my life. They are waiting for a good time. Remember the good time. It is just a dream which never comes true. It's not something good time will come to you. Hey, I'm a good time now. Utilize me. It's not like this. Good time is something that you will work for it to achieve that. To have it, good time is today. 
today the decision you're going to take for your life this is the good time this is a good time so don't wait for a good time good time will never come you have to walk to the good time so remember that the easiest way to be the most successful in your life it is to follow the life of those people who already those who are already very successful in their life you can you can choose any one of them there are lot there are lot you can google it you can type in the google the top 100 most successful people okay it will give you the list of it try to read little bit about them and the one you like the most maybe two or three try to read their life deeply deeply and try to see what are their most common habits among these three or four people if you are able to select out of that 105 of them and these five try to study their life try to see what are their common habits okay and that common habits try to adopt in you try to adopt in yourself so believe me the achievement in our life it comes because of our habits the habits we have our habits could can destroy ourselves can destroy our future and our good habits can make ourselves as well can make ourselves distinguished person so remember that the most easiest way to be the successful person the most shortcut way to be the most successful person it is for you it is just study the life of the most successful people and that try to see what are their common what are the common things do they have in life and you will see common thing that they have almost all the successful people in the world one of their common habit it is they give value to their time they give value to their time so write down please from now on from now on i am going to give value to, to my time because time is something which will never come back to my life it will never come back to my life you started i mean or like a, you start or you call um <clears throat> one hour before one hour before what you able to do it that's happened that can that one hour before which is passed already from your life will never come back what action you have taken in that one hour before you will definitely get the fruit of that okay so keep in a mind keep in a mind guys that the people those who give they are the most successful people in the world respecting time give respect to the time and then you will see the result in your future what 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 can be happen in 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 your in your goal or in your success or in your dream so give value to your time i have seen people those who are spending hours and hours in tiktok in social medias like fb and all trying to make sure that they're going to check each and every post and like it or unlike it or give some comments on it okay so that this is something which give them nothing this is something which give them nothing and we have this type of habits so believe me in our 24 hours of our time try to trace out what are that habits that i have in me what are that habits that i have in me which is consuming my time for nothing gives me nothing try to find out and list it down 
and try to cut it out from your from your daily routine as much as possible take it out from your daily routine yeah. because that time you can learn, utilize it for something which will make you better person knowledgeable skilled person which you will be able to utilize it in your future yes so give value give respect to the time yes. and then and you will see the time will give you in return yes another habits another habit of the most successful people in this world it is they are ambitious they have some aim they have some goal they have some dream to achieve if you ask them and their goal is very clear i try to i try to do it this thing in my class of 50 students i ask them please introduce yourself and with the intro short introduction with the introduction mention what is the goal in your life what goal do you have in your life what what you want to achieve what is your dream believe me it was it was just like first time they are hearing this word that dream is the life goal in the life most of them they were thinking this is this question or this statement it is for the big people the the specific, the the successful people it's not for me i'm working as a sales person salesman or sales lady i'm working as a waiter i don't think so this question is for me that what is the goal in your life or what is the dream you have and you know what most of most of that student you know what dream they told me i I have a dream that one day I able to buy my own house. I able to have my own car. These are the most of us dream that we have. How I wish that I could support my family and I can send my siblings in the college. These are the dreams most of us we have. and if if that will be your dream and if that was your dream as well then keep in the mind you might going to be remain for rest of your life in the place where you are or in the bracket that you are we not able to understand that what are the dreams that we should have what are the goals that we should have because this is something which is not being taught in the schools we are able to finish high school but never this topic has been tackled that we should set goals in our life there should be a short term goal there should be a long term goal and there should be a preparation of that goal and then we should there should be assessment of that goal so dreaming to be become a big that will be useless if we haven't set a goal in our life so this is the one of the common thing in the most successful people that they drive their day according to the goal that they have in their life they spend their day according to the goal they have set set it into their life now we need to assess ourselves that 
Am I spending my day according to the goal of my life? According to the dream of my life? The dream that I have set for myself? That this is what I want to be in coming five years or in coming 10 years? Am I spending my month or year according to the achievement of that goal? If not, then you need to get serious on this matter because there will be no change. Change is not something that will come and knock your door. Hey, open the door, I'm a change. It will change your life. It's nothing like this. Change comes with the struggle, with hard working. And the struggle is useless if there is no direction, proper direction, if there is no goal has been set, if there is no dream has been set, the struggle is useless. That's the reason that a lot of us, many of us keep working hard, keep working hard, but remains in hand to mouth only. Hand to mouth only. Yes. Is because the goal has not set. And that's something which is not being thought. Yes. So I'm taking this subject very seriously to my student because I'm really concerned about it, especially to my student. You trusted us and you given your time to us and we want as much as possible we need to make sure that what you're able to learn from here that will give you some fruit tomorrow and that fruit will be possible if you will able to apply that things even though if you apply the things but if you, you when, if you have not set any directions, any goals, that not going to work, my dear. That one going to work. Okay, I'm going to share another most common habit of the most successful people in this world. They are very responsible. Very responsible. You want to become manager? I will give you formula today. Please write down. The easiest, the shortest key I will give you. The easiest and the shortest key I will give you. If any one of you dreaming to become a manager, the easiest way, please take down, write down. Starting from today itself, try to become the most responsible person. And I guaranteed you, I guaranteed every one of you, inshallah, inshallah, in a very short time, maybe span of one year time, you will be able to reach that destination, that goal. Try to become responsible in everything that you are doing in your life. You are at your work, you're working as a sales lady, you're working as a waitress, you're working as a clerk, you're working as a, no matter what position you are working, try to become most responsible into that position, into that work, into that area of your job. Believe me, you will left everyone behind. The most favorite person among all the employees to the owner of the company or to the director of the company or to the president of the company is the one who's most responsible person. The person who takes responsibility of the, the whole operation, not just limiting himself, to his own work or his own duty or his own responsibility. No. 
It's like, for giving you an example, how you can be a responsible person. You are three or four siblings in one house and your parents have divided the job and has assigned to you different tasks. And that's your job to do. For example, you're going to fetch the water from outside. Every day, that's your duty. If the gas cylinder is empty, that's you going to go and buy. So that's another person duty. Every day, you're going to check if the doors are locked or not. So that's another person duty. You're going to make sure if the lights is all switched over. So that's another person. But one of them not able to do his or her job, always lazy or missing up the task. And you took her responsibility to make sure that if every one of them, all these four or five brothers are doing their job or not, if any one of them failed to do and you took a responsibility to do it, that will make you manager. Please write down, this is the formula I'm giving you. That will make you manager. And once you're able to reach to that stage, it will be very easy for you to become a director, even the president of the company. How? Abide the same habit. Continue with that. Carry yourself with the same habit. Be most responsible responsible person, something which is not your job to do, but that person miss up to do, and there is no one else, only you do it. Don't just pass, don't just pass from that. To give you an example, there is a tissue paper on the floor, and it is the job of the cleaner. Cleaner is not around. You pick it, you do it. That will make you a responsible person. So in, this is just a small example in each and everything, in each and everything. Another thing of being the most responsible person, one of, one of the responsible people's habit now. Now you need to look into that. This is the, the main heading or main title. You need to look into that. What are the subtitles of it? The most success, most the most responsible person. One of their habit it is. They try to extend their. They try to extend their help. They try to give their hand to others. They try to offer their self to others. Helping others, helping your colleagues. Let me help you, let me do it for you. Offer, your, offer yourself always. Don't care about time. It's already seven o'clock, it's my time to go. Don't care about this. Because you might going to be late on the bus stop or in waiting for the taxi or in the traffic. 10, 15 minutes or half hour or even one hour will not make big difference. But giving the help to your colleague and extending time, that will make big difference in your life. That will make big difference in your life. Remember I told you in the beginning that every action has what? Reaction. So you giving you extending your help to others and all. Don't you think that there will be no reaction? There will be reaction and that reaction will be what? That reaction will be love and respect. You will gain respect among all the colleagues. You will gain love. You will become the most favorite person among, among all of the staff. And that will make you a successful person. That will make you a successful person. I hope I will not be taking much of your time. So I want that few things that I have discussed to you, please apply this one. 
apply this one religiously religiously why i'm saying this one religiously because when it comes to religion we give lot of respect this so give that much respect to the things that i have discussed to you just now number one it is give value to your time number two try to study the life of the most successful people and try to see what are their common habits and try to abide try to apply their common habits into your life try to make their common habits as your habits their common habits were able to make them the most successful person and the same formula you know that if someone will ask me that how are you able to reach to their office the simple answer it is that well when i enter in panasonic tower i press the elevator button elevator door opens i press the eighth floor button and here i am on the eighth floor in my office if you will apply the same method you will also able to come in my office but if you will be applying a different method to come on the eighth floor you might going to fall down and break your leg or you might not able to reach or not able to so the easiest way to reach to to the to reach to that success level it is apply the their footstep apply the way they able to do it apply their habits adopt it in your life and inshallah you will one day you will be also the most successful i'm going to end up my talk just by sharing the last thing which is most important than all of that that i have discussed and that is called sharing one of the most common thing in the most successful people in the world it is that they don't hide anything they have a habit of sharing the most i never seen in my life a successful person who is kariput bakhil who always trying to trying to keep it just with him the generous people they become successful always always share even if you have little you got one date only with you share that one as well make your nature make your habit make yourself always sharing with others never try to hide never try to hide never try to keep it just within you only the people those who just keep keeping within themselves they die with that only and they're not able to gain anything in their life you tr you try to study the life of bill gates the life of the steve job the life of any other most successful person you will be see, you will see you will find that they are running charity organization big big organization there are thousands of orphan being fed by them even in your own country in your own country in your own place if you know someone who's very successful in his life try to study his life and see that person definitely definitely behind it is that he is running some organization charity organization or he himself going door to door to feed the poor people if you have nothing with you to share with others there is no problem but still you have one thing to share that is smile smile yes that is sadaqah 
sadaka smile is sadaka what is sadaka sharing charity charity when you look at somebody when you look at someone if you cannot give anything just give smile at least yes if you can give something if you can extend any help give a chair to the person, the person to sit or you give a water don't don't think on that time what is your position should i will be the one to offer a water to this person no get up from your seat and offer a water that will make you humble the more humble you will be the more successful you will be yes remember the the tree which has fruit on it that's always bowing down falling down the branches of that tree is always down i have never seen any tree which has a apple on it or mango on it and the branches of the tree is going up this way never the more knowledge you have the more humble you should be the more rich you are the more humble you should be the more successful person you are the more humble you should be that that is the way that you will able to maintain your current status otherwise that status will be taken out from you the mutakabbir person kibar the person who have pride the person who have pride i have seen them in my life to zero from from owner of a big big factories i have seen them in my life on one stage they come in the street and their children are begging yes so apply this thing share whatever you have even the knowledge you have or something that you can do for someone do it there is a return of that one which god almighty have promised which god almighty have promised that the person who shares that is sharing always increase never decrease inshallah may god almighty bless all of you with lot of success in your life i will be the most happy person in seeing you if one day you able to achieve something big in your life please don't forget icsc i will be very glad and will be very happy that if one day you going to come and share your successful story with us we will feel that we got paid back we got paid back for our struggles and efforts i admire your teacher mashallah she is one of the best teacher among our all of our teacher she is very dedicated and uh, she never care about time she always care about the student i mean she never care about her own time that how much time i'm going to spend for this task or this thing and all she always keep in a mind that what my student will able to benefit from this this time they will the one i will going to spend the one i will be spending on it and all so therefore she always extend her efforts and struggles and she work hard to make her lesson on a best level so i mean her video trainings and her lessons and all so guys take maximum benefit out of it you able to get alhamdulillah that's blessing good friends are blessing good teachers are blessing 
And if ever you're able to have them, then give them a lot of respect and hold them in your life. So I thank you to you, all, every one of you, for trusting ICSA, for what you call giving us a chance, opportunity to be part of your success. Inshallah, my prayers will be always for you. Remember, I always, always, and every day, I pray for my students, for their success, for their success. I always pray for my student. And that's the reason I believe that God Almighty have blessed this institute. Yeah. So your, your success is actually our success. And we will be able to get to know one day when you're going to walk to us or call us, inform us that Alhamdulillah, today I am on this position. I am I able to achieve my dream or I able to achieve this thing or able to do. And don't forget, if ever you need any help, anything that you think that we're able to, we can do something for you and all, do not hesitate to reach us. We will be very happy to help you. Okay, if it will be, if it will be possible for us, we will do our best to help you. For especially those who are looking for a job, you can reach to us. We always have a lot of companies calling us, asking us for, uh, asking us a help to, for the recruitment and all. We 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 always try to help our student for for that as well. Whatever help you might need it in your life, not limited just to this course or to this training and all, whatever you think that we can do for you, please try to reach us. We'll be very, very happy to see you again here in the ICSA. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much, Sir Amir, for that Thank very so inspirational. <laughs> Very inspirational messages, sir. Heartwarming messages. Miss Nuria is crying. <laughs> okay, so I just want to add to that, guys. So most of the things that Sir Amir has uh, discussed was in our time management training before, right? Time management uh, subject. So we also had that activity wherein we try to divide the time or how many hours we're spending on a daily basis and th things like this. So it's really a big reflection to all of us. And you taking this step to take this course this professional growth really means a lot uh, because it means that you are dedicated to pursue something in your life, your passion, your purpose in your life, because that's one of the things that really puts a person down if you can't find your purpose, guys. And also, I want to add that we are always saying successful, success, but I want you also to realize, guys, you have to define your own success. Because if you just say, I want to be successful, that's very vague. Remember, we had the smart goal techniques. So you have to specify what is successful for you, what makes you happy. It doesn't mean that you reach uh, being a CEO, being a manager, that's okay for you. That will make you happy. It doesn't, it doesn't really um, apply to all people. Like for me, I don't define success with title alone. So it's how contented you are in your life. If you have what it takes to provide for your family, those simple things can already be success in your own right. So don't compare yourself to others always, guys. Because And you have to really define your own success. Because if you don't define your own success, what do you think can make you happy? What do you think can make you contented in life? You will always, by default, follow whatever society is dictating to us. So especially in social media, we mostly see people being successful when they own a car, a big house, or things like this. But that's not really applicable for everyone. And what we see in social media is superficial. So uh, that's the start, guys. Define your own success. So it doesn't mean uh, position, money alone. It can be your own personal growth. It can be how contented you are in your circle life. Yes, your achievements in your professional you career. Happy. Yes, your academic uh, growth. So things like this. So... Um, we are all equal in God's eyes. And remember, whatever material things we have in our life right now, we cannot bring that <laughs> when we pass away. So be humble. 
Yes, and as what Sir Amir is saying, be generous. If we cannot be generous financially, then be generous with, with what we can do for others. Be generous with our positivity and our time to others as well. Because if you give money, then you can always earn money, right? But as what we said, time, you can never earn time. So if you spend time with other people, that would be more meaningful because you're spending a part of your life with them that you can never take back. Right. So thank you so much, everyone. I'm really so proud of all of you. And I'm really hoping, wishing for all whatever success you are praying. <laughs> I know that you will reach it, inshallah, one day. And uh, as what Sir Amir is saying, we are the first people in ICSA who's going to be very happy if one day you're going to get back to us and tell us ab about your inspirational stories. So thank you for trusting us. Thank you for reaching out to us. And please know that even though we finish this course, we're still very much open if you need to collaborate, if you need to ask for assistance, whatever we can do for you, if it's within our power, even within our control, then we can help you as well. Thank you so much, guys. All right. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> yep. So I want also to all of you to know that I came from a very humble beginning. That That's why I became so passionate about learning. And when I was before, I noticed that people always respect those who are high in position, those who have too much money, those who are popular, those who, have, who are beautiful. So if I cannot be that, it's very difficult to be that, okay? Beauty, beauty is God-given, right? <laughs> you cannot, of course, there's cosmetics. There's a lot of procedures nowadays, but it costs money as well. Money, on the other hand, it's also doable, but also it depends on a lot of situations you are in. So maybe you are the breadwinner of your family, right? So it, it's really a lot of factors involved. But being smart, guys, that's really in your control, <laughs> you can take control of your brain so and the best the easiest way for people to respect you is by being smart okay that's the that's the easiest part where you can work in because being rich it's it's quite difficult uh, being beautiful it also takes a lot of work right taste ganda we have that term in filipino called taste ganda wherein sometimes you have to sacrifice a lot of things to look beautiful but being smart guys it takes only a few hours of your time each day to nurture your beautiful brain and it will come out and of course it's not instant as what sir amir is saying and we are sometimes addicted to this instantaneous um, achievements like what we can see in social media dopamine right but in actuality the good things in life or the best things in life take time. And we can start by being very productive with our own brains. Okay, mm -hmm. take control of your learning skills. So every day is a learning opportunity. And I'm always happy every day if I learn something new. And I know that you are also like that. You're also passionate about learning because you joined this course, which really shows that you are serious about your growth, your professional growth. And I know that you can still go far in life one day. Thank you so much, everyone. And I guess that wraps it up. Exactly five o'clock, sir. <laughs> we are right on time. <laughs> time management. <laughs> very, very good time management. So thank you so much, everyone. And for those who are done with their exams and for the business proposal projects, congratulations. Uh, I will just give you instructions on the next few days on what will be the certificate processing and stuff. For those who are not yet done, then just please uh, contact me and we can arrange those schedules, okay? So I guess we are free to leave the meeting now. Thank you so much, Sir Amir, for your time. All right. Again, thank sir. You yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much, dear students, for this final, <laughs> final group session that we have. Uh, I know that we're gonna miss each other. Don't worry. You know what? I'm also gonna be sending some ebooks, uh, books that I'm reading in the group. Okay, you can download that one as well in PDF file. And I hope that you can also get to read those books that really inspired me and uh, also motivates me to do better. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank everybody. you so much. Sir Amir, I see. Thank you so much, Miss Maricel. To all my classmates, thank you for. Uh, <laughs> okay, part video. Of my... <laughs> yes, Mr. Lin, thank you so much. Okay, everyone, if you can turn on the, the videos, so we will have a group selfie. <laughs> <laughs> selfie, selfie. Yep. Okay, video, video, selfie. Others? Yes. Let's see your beautiful faces once again. My so camera is again back. Hi, your camera is not working. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. A while ago, it's not dark, but now it's dark. Uh, Miss Monira, yeah. This happened also last time, no? Yeah. Every time we're making selfies. Okay, anyways. Okay. So, everyone. Okay, sirs. <laughs> okay, everyone. Smile. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Let me just grab that screenshot and paste it here. Okay, one more. Waki. One, two, three. Smile. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I forgot, sir. We also have Miss um Miss Eileen. She's Venezuelan and Chinese, dear. No, half Venezuelan, half Chinese. Something. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much, dears. It's really an honor to have served all of you. And just reach out to me, as I said, Goodbye. even though we finished the course. Yeah. Goodbye and God bless. And for those who will stay, still take the exam. Goodbye just reach out to us. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. dears. Bye. <laughs>